Apostolos, the word literally means one who is sent. One who is sent. Good morning, family and friends. In today's gospel, we see that Jesus is sending his disciples to proclaim the kingdom. He said, you go, as you go, proclaim this message and cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. You have received without payment, without cost, give it as a gift. Go out, that's a mission given by Jesus to all of us. Apostolos, the word literally means one who is sent, one who is sent. By the very fact baptized, baptized Christians that we are, as our same mission, we are all sent by God with a purpose, with a mission to this world, only that we can complete and fulfill that mission. If we, we don't do the responsibility and proceed to us, who else will do for us? Nobody. God has given us a mission and said to this world and we have to do it. Go out and do. If we have only we can give. Disciples spent months with Jesus and they saw what Jesus did. Now they are going out what they received from their master. And Jesus is preparing them. He told you don't worry about your own personal things. Don't worry about your money bag, what you will eat or what you will drink. You know, you just go and focus on your mission. Everything else will be provided. How true it is. When we go focus on the Lord's work, everything else will be provided. We don't have to worry about anything. God will take care of us. And later we see, later part of the gospel, we see these disciples return. None of them complained. Oh, Master, we did not get as you promised. So we know you're hungry, you're thirsty. No. They were all satisfied. They received their payment. Laborers deserve their payment. The last part of the gospel, Jesus also mentions the persecution other with the good news. How true it is we see that Christians being persecuted every day. When we proclaim the good news, there is always the uh, evil spirit will come out. Yeah, to resist the good news, the goodness that we do. Now try to uh, resist us attack us in different ways. We pray for our persecutors, especially we pray for all the Christian brothers and sisters, our own brothers and sisters who are being persecuted for their faith, that God may protect them. Go out and proclaim the good news. Give what you have received freely. Amen.